Clickbait works really well. I would know because about six years ago, I made a video about a working bank vault in Minecraft, and I did a slightly spicy thumbnail. Now it's nothing too ridiculous, but it definitely overstepped my personal line for what I think a truthful thumbnail is for a YouTube video. However, the video did end up getting 9 million views, which is quite a lot, and I'd like a new bicycle. So my grand master plan is I'm going to make a clickbait thumbnail by actually building the thing in the thumbnail. I'm gonna make something that looks like a clickbait thumbnail, but it's actually not a clickbait thumbnail because I've built the thing. First things first, my bank vault. I'm gonna start things off with my own clickbait thumbnail, and then I'm going to move on to other YouTubers' clickbait thumbnails. Now, I think the best way to get this entire thing to work is to make use of the create mod. So I'm building up a door right now where all of the blocks are stuck together, making use of super glue. So that should, in theory, mean that the entire door moves of its own accord. It's like one big block. And these should be the final blocks to put in place. Now to rotate our big block of a vault door, all I have to do is make use of a mechanical bearing, I believe. And I need to attach this to the underside of the door and then I need to build up all sorts of bits to actually power this thing. Goodness gracious, it has been a little while since I've played around with the create mod, but I think, I think I'm doing the correct things. Right. We've got, we've got some interesting bits going on here. So we've got a sequence gear shift, which should turn our door 30 degrees when it gets powered. We also have a gear shift down here, which changes the direction from this motor. And then down at the bottom, we've just got ourselves a little motor. This little thing is creative mode only. So I'm going to add in an actual proper motor once this playtest works, which hopefully it works first time. So here goes. Flicking the lever and <laughs> my glue, my glue definitely did not work. This... Okay, that's awful in basically every single way. That was that was straight up dreadful. What happens if I say it turns 90 degrees? Okay, well it took part of the door and moved it. That's good. And then it moves it back. So we're like halfway there. It's just my door isn't actually glued together. Okay, this time I've been a little bit systematic as to how I've constructed the door. And now everything sort of works. Apart from the middle. After a little bit more fannying about, Everything is now fully functional. This is very exciting. Now I'm hoping with me using the wrench, I should be able to get that slight angle that I got in the thumbnail. So this is no longer going to lock on the 90s. It should only lock when the door is closed. Yes. Yes, okay. So it's kind of floating in that very non-Minecrafty state. This is excellent. And then if I flick this back around and power again, it is now locked. And it is a closed door. This is actually working. Time to hook up all the redstone so I'm not just flicking levers around. As well as do a bit of 2012 stone bricking. And I think we now have one clickbait thumbnail ready to go. So when I hit this button right here, our vault door opens up. And this might just be one of the most satisfying looking piston doors. Or I guess not even piston doors. Mechanical bearing doors that I've seen. It just looks so cool. Now the angle is a tiny bit more aggressive than the one featured in my thumbnail. But I definitely think I'm nitpicking a little bit there. For me, this thing's pretty perfect. It's the vault door that I always dreamed of having. And to be honest, it feels really nice to finally be able to say that I built up the door that I put in my thumbnail six years ago because I I've always felt a little bit bad about that one. So now let's move on to other people's thumbnails. And this requires a very official statement before I continue. One that requires an office. An office where I clearly have no chair and just stand on the desk. Also, I only have two walls. I'm getting distracted. <clears throat> my official statement is, this is a silly goofy video and I'm just having a silly goofy time, and I don't mean any ill will to any YouTubers whose thumbnails get featured in this video. I personally have done exactly the same stuff in the past. First things first, we've got the floor tilting up with the hidden staircase appearing underneath. This seems like it could be a really fun and interesting create mod project. So I guess first things first, I just need to create a little pit. Now the first part of our system obviously works quite a bit like our vault door, so I'm going to need to get one of these mechanical bearings and chuck that in on the corner. And from there, build on from that our glued up grass floor. Here we have our little sequence gear shift and gear shift combination and I'm hoping hitting this button, gosh, oh yeah, I forgot to do the wrench thing. How do I always forget to do the wrench thing? I mean seriously. As I was saying, now with this combination we should have ourselves the tilt up mechanism and that is incredibly satisfying looking and then flicking this everything should fold back down. Excellent. So now it's all about just getting those stairs in place and obviously these stairs they need to pop up to this height, and I think it would look really cool if when this folds up, 
these kind of slowly move up as well. So all of these have been glued together, so they should all move as one. And to be honest, this should be easy as anything because yeah, all we need is a gear shift and that will move our stairs back and forth in the most beautiful and smooth, lovely fashion. Why can't Minecraft regular pistons be a bit like this? I would absolutely love a slow piston. Okay, time to hook up all of the redstone logic circuits. <laughs> Things have not gone to plan. Uh, I assume what's happened here is my stairs have pushed up my platform before my platform could start twisting. Okay, that just means we need a really small pulse extender down here to stop this thing extending before this starts spinning. And now that all of that's been worked out, we should have ourselves the perfect clickbait thumbnail. I mean, look at that. That is straight out of the textbook. That is absolutely gorgeous. We've all seen this thousands upon thousands of times on the YouTube homepage, and now I'm actually seeing it in Minecraft. I can interact with it. Let's get the experience. Let's get the full experience. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button. Everything folds away. That's incredibly satisfying. I mean, come on, that's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. I'm a big fan. This thing looks fantastic. This thing looks awesome. I mean, when we press the button here, when those stairs slowly pop up, that is, that is ridiculously satisfying. But I definitely think we can take this one stage further. Why am I slowly moving upwards, by the way? I'm getting distracted again, aren't I? The hidden entrance underneath the bed. This is something I've seen a ton, and this is going to be quite difficult to do because, of course, you know, a bed, a bed's pretty small, and also there's nowhere that I can see to fit the mechanism in, but I have a very silly idea that I think potentially could work. We're gonna give it a go. Now I do just want to say straight off the bat, outside of this machine being impossible in vanilla Minecraft, also hiding a hidden entrance underneath the bed, something that you can actually see under, probably isn't your brightest idea, but it does make for a killer looking thumbnail, I can't deny. So here comes my first idea, okay? And just to warn you, it is so stupid that it might just work, but it is very, 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 very stupid. Can I actually use barrier blocks inside of create mod contraptions? Here goes. Okay, well, glue works with them, so that's definitely a good sign. Now, can I stick this bed to it? It, it doesn't seem like it because of the way that beds work. I kind of have to place it down here. It has to be attached to the floor. But I haven't lost hope because I think... I can actually glue this bed down to that barrier block right there, and then if we rotate that barrier block, that might give us the effect that we want. This is by far the least hidden entrance I've ever seen, by the way. Here comes the moment of truth. Can our system A, rotate a barrier block, and B, actually rotate a bed? We're about to find out. Ah, oh, that doesn't look good. That definitely feels like... We're interacting with an immovable object there. So I've placed a button down underneath. I have no clue. I have no clue how or if this is going to work at all. But it, it does. <laughs> Definitely not in a good way though. <laughs> That is, that is horrendous. That looks terrible. I mean, I definitely think this is the definition of technically working. Like our, our bed is back. It doesn't look good though. I don't think it's possible to do this in a cool way. But fear not, because I think there's still a way to make something that looks cool. Something like this should hopefully do the trick. Oh, come on. The mechanical pistons don't push the bed either. How is it that I can twist the bed? I can flip a bed around and stuff like that, but I can't push a bed around. Okay, now you've got me determined. I'm going back to the mechanical bearing. I think I have a good idea of how I can make this thing function. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Why? <laughs> Why have you gotten... Is it literally just because it's inside of that block? That is so close to looking about as good as it gets. Okay, yes, I've got a nice looking bed. No, why, why did it just go dark? It was looking good. All right, this is a contraption that works really well until you get close to it. I'm fine with that. At this point, I will take it. Get all of the walls in place and all of the redstone in place. And now I have myself a fully functional bed moving out the way secret entrance that I can only view from this one really specific angle. I mean, that's just what we wanted, isn't it? I'm extremely happy with this. I guess the moral of the story on this one is that clickbait is much harder than you think.